Hello Commanders and welcome in the Chilean Empire series, today we continue the action, but before that we need to make our cities immune from the German spies planted in our homeland cities. I planted counter ops in all of my homeland cities because Germany has um, started a huge wave of spying on my nation. And also a lot of sabotage missions that uh, made my building suffering a little bit, they damaged my buildings. Uh, I have a level 4 naval base have been damaged and the production of my cruisers have been stopped. But I am going to do the same for him. Now I have the money, I can, uh, I can buy a lot of uh, spies and now I am going to launch my um, assault on him with my spies. A lot of sabotage and intelligence um, spies on him. I'd like to see what kind of ontier he have and what kind of uh, production he is making. So uh, some intelligence. Um, spies, they can do the work for us. Also on these uh, British annexed cities, especially the city of Oslo that have a level 3 naval base. He have uh, another naval base in the city of uh, Stockholm and Gavel. A level 4 naval base for the Britain kingdom there. Okay, sabotage agents everywhere, also in the capital Berlin. You can clearly see that in the last episode we did a huge naval battle against the German defenses there and now our task force of cruisers, it is getting closer to the homeland cities of Germany. But not yet, he still have naval defenses, but in one single strike we killed his cruiser. Now we are going to start bombarding his coastal cities and uh, of course destroy his level 4 naval bases. This is very important to stop Germany from making more naval units. I will uh, advance a little bit to the city of Kiel to see if he still have naval defenses there before I start bombarding his coastal cities. I need to make sure that I am the only one who have the ships there in that area. Our National Guard, they started disembarking in the homeland cities of the United Kingdom and now we are going to start the actual invasion of the Great Britain, guys. Our National Guards, they are meters away from starting to take the homeland cities of the United Kingdom. This is the third attempt of the Chilean Empire to take the British cities and now it's going, finally, it's going to be successful. I will send my uh, strikers there, as soon as I get the lands I'm going to start building the airfields in the British land. An AWACS also for more uh, vision and eyes there. Okay, Plymouth has fallen. I'm going to build an airfield here in the province of Bournemouth. Dublin, Belfast and Glasgow, all of them have fallen. Of course, they are empty cities now because our cruisers did the necessary and took down all of the land, armies and defenses in these coastal cities. So now my National Guard's um, task is only to take those cities and lands. No need for fighting here. Let's take the surrounding provinces here. I'd like to finish the United Kingdom as soon as possible and take care of Germany later. The stack of naval patrol aircrafts took down the British destroyer successfully near the capital London. You can see from the notifications there that we did it successfully. Also near the city of Edinburgh. You know that uh, naval patrol aircrafts, they are lethal against destroyers because destroyers, they have no anti-air there. I positioned one cruiser to close the English Channel between France and uh, United Kingdom. I don't want anyone to sneak to the Atlantic Ocean as now we are going to perform the naval blockade there. I will march slowly to uh, London. Okay, Hamburg has been destroyed totally. Kiel also, the naval base level 4 has been destroyed. I'm going to continue my advancement to the Baltic Sea. We still have a lot of uh, British naval uh, cities there, like Stockholm and Oslo, like I showed you uh, previously. I need to bombard them also. Our strikers, they are on the way. 
also our cruisers. These are our homeland cities. I have been spamming national guards with uh, significant numbers there because I had no armies that can gather lands for me. So the national guards, they are the easiest, the fastest and the cheapest way to make them. Let's uh, get closer here to the Nordic lands. I'd like pat to patrol if Britain, he made newly made uh, ships there in Oslo and uh, of course in uh, uh, Stockholm and Gavel. Our naval patrol aircrafts, they are they will do the necessary to show us everything. Our task force eliminated the 42nd anti-air battalion in Hamburg. This is why ships they are very good because they uh, win you naval battles and at the same time they are going to kill land armies there. France has jumped to the third position. France has been um, expanding fast there in uh, North America and I guess soon he will visit us. We have to be careful guys and we need to finish this war as soon as possible. There is a land radar there near Edinburgh. I'm going to make my anti-missile closer to my stack of uh, multiple rocket launchers. The German coastal cities have been totally, totally destroyed. Our mission has been successful. The mission, the Operation North Sea has been 100% successful because the goal of this mission is to bombard and destroy the coastal cities of Germany. And now in front of you guys, you see the results. Another good news that my our task force with the range of 100 that can reach the city of Hanover, inland city of Germany, but we can reach it with the range of 100. There are still British defenses near London. I'm going to send my naval patrol aircraft here near the city of Bogota because to be honest I am a little bit anxious from France because I know for a fact that he will start invading us very soon. I upgraded my cruise missiles to level uh, to level 3 actually and also my national guards to level 3. I upgraded the National Guards because they will be stronger against uh, Rook State. I don't want Rook State here to uh, bother me near the United Kingdom. These are the notifications of, um, of the spies planted in the German land. I lost the National Guard there in the north. There is a ballistic missile launcher there that killed our National Guard. A bit weird, isn't it? Oh, there is, uh, there is an air radar coming for us, guys. What is it? I think it's Germany. It's coming from the side of Germany. Let's see what will happen here. I have two uh, level four SAMs. They will be enough to kill uh, any fixed wing aircraft. But uh, what if there are helicopters? Okay, we will see. We will wait here. Our multiple rocket launchers, they are bombarding London heavily. Okay, our anti-air has been activated, so the, these are a fighter squadron. German fighter squadron. Why Germany is sending his fighters to us? He is sending them to death. Like, seriously, he is sending them to death. Look at that. He is... He kept coming. There is a second air radar there. He is launching cruise missiles, guys. He is launching cruise missiles. This is why he approached us with uh, fighters. Look at that, there is a second, a radar, so it is a cruise missile. Oh god, this is so bad. My anti-missile is a little bit far from the range. I cannot intercept that cruise missile, but our two level four SAMs, they have defensive abilities against cruise missiles and it's level two. So only four hit points. It will not survive, I guess. It will not survive my level four uh, SAM launches. No. It will be dead. Okay, that was a good. That was a good one. I, I, I am relieved. I am relieved that Germany doesn't have high-level cruise missiles because if he did, he will kill our cruisers. He will kill our stacks of multiple rocket launchers, and I am going to have to rebuild again. But we will see what will happen here in the next episode, guys. Things are heated. This. Sirius is on fire. See you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.